guys it's me the joe effects jolita and this is my second video i'm still not really sure how to do a lot of this stuff so just bear with me but basically in this video i just want to talk about some of the ups and downs i've had this is my second week uh, i started at 318 on the 27th of september 2016 and as far as last monday well the money that just passed I lost 1.7 pounds. It's not a lot, but you're really not supposed to lose a lot in the, you know, every week. You're not supposed to lose too much, but I've been sticking to things a certain way, trying to do right. Like this morning, I had scrambled egg whites with spinach, some turkey sausage, and a little bit of cheese in it, and I'm so full, and that's really good because it's supposed to be a lot of protein and give you the right kind of energy and so far I've had yogi slim slim tea and it's supposed to help along with the diet and um, so today I have to go see a gastroenterologist I'm just trying to keep up with my health and make sure that I go to do certain things and um, just make sure everything is in order I'm not getting weight loss surgery, so that's not what it's for. But my regular doctor, my primary care, has suggested I see a gastroenterologist for certain things. And just to keep progressing along, making sure things are in order. Um, I have no idea how to edit these videos and do all this stuff like all these other people are doing. So if there's anybody out there who's willing to give me a pointer or two, I will forever be in your favor. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so, I wanted to talk about a little bit of a struggle I had this week. So, the other day, my family wanted me to, um, make them fried chicken. Because, you know, a fat girl knows how to make fried chicken, right? Of course. So, in my mind, I, I could have, if I did this diet a couple of years ago, even just a couple of months or weeks ago, I would have been telling myself everything to say oh I'll just have a piece or two and just basically fuck up right but I said no I'm not doing this so I took some of the chicken wings and some of the drumsticks and I I baked it but I am a sasson and a dobo lover I love it I cut it all out I can't because it's got so much salt in it, and it's just so... I, I went to the store, and I did, like, a, a little haul. I got a couple of things. I got some Mrs. Dash, the onion and herb, and the garlic and herb. It's no salt. And it's pretty good. But what I did was I took Ken's Italian dressing, the vinaigrette. It has olive oil in it. And I also took some Wishbone um, red vinaigrette. And I took a little bit of the Mrs. Dash and some, you know, the minced garlic in a jar. I took a little bit of that. I marinated it for about a half an hour. I, I, I stabbed all the chicken with, like, a fork so that everything can marinate good because I didn't have a lot of time to marinate. And I just put it in a Pyrex dish, baked it on one side a half an hour, flipped it over, basted it. The other side for about 35, 40 minutes. I'm telling you, I didn't miss that fried chicken one bit. It was falling off the bone. It was juicy. It was delicious. And I felt good about the choice, you know? And I had some sweet potato fries. I got some organic ones in the freezer because I bought regular sweet potatoes. And although they're delicious and we baked them, but it was hard as hell trying to cut them into fries to bake them. <sighs> my arms were killing me. And mind you, remember, I have lupus and arthritis. And my arms don't fully go straight. That's about as straight as I can get my arms. So, just cutting and chopping and doing everyday things that most people take for granted, because I know I did before I got sick. It's like, wow, it's so hard, and I'm on a lot of medicines. I mean, I take methotrexate, prednisone, things that, well, methotrexate is a chemotherapy pill, and prednisone and things like that or steroids and they make you gain weight so not only am I fighting hard to try to lose this weight by trying to eat healthier I cut out all sh all sodas all 
juices. I do drink a little diet green tea juice because I need some juice. But I drink a lot more water. I have my snacks, my yogurts, my cheese sticks, some hummus. Oh, I love some hummus. Some carrots, celery. I make lots of broccoli. And but back to the fried chicken situation. My aunt, she said, hmm, I like your baked chicken more than I like the fried chicken. And I'm like, well, that's good. And I'm definitely no expert. I'm far from it. But I have been getting on people in my family like, okay, yogurt is great for you. But if you're going to eat yogurt, 27 grams of carbs in one yogurt is outrageous. Like, I get the, mostly the Zanin, um Greek 100 calorie crunch. And they have like the flips. And it's like 11 grams of carbs, and that's my snack. You have three snacks a day and three meals, and I've been eating a lot of vegetables. I bought a lot of, you know, and, like, my family loves, like, dole salads. And that's okay, but is there any really nutritional value in iceberg lettuce? Not really. So I like to buy the salads that come in the tubs, like the plastic bins in the supermarket that have, like, the mixed greens with spinach and, 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 um... I don't know, it has a whole bunch of different vegetables in it, uh, leaves and lettuce, and it's so good, and you could just, I don't know, I feel like I've tried to lose weight a lot of times in my life, and as many times as I thought I was doing good, I'd always make an excuse or not do something, and I really truly believe in my heart of hearts that no matter how much you want something, until you get it in your mind, That it takes time, patience, preparation, and, you know, a lot of effort. It's never going to work. And that's deep down inside how I feel because I've tried and tried and tried and tried. But did I ever really, really try? Probably not. Even when I was working in an after-school program that was connected to a gym, the YMCA, we had the biggest loser weight loss challenge. And I lost like 20 pounds in like a month. But once that weight loss challenge was over, I didn't go. I didn't do nothing. And every now and again, I go swimming or I do some cardio and things like that. And that's when I can walk good, when I didn't have these illnesses. And I thought, oh, and I was even doing Zumba. And I thought I was doing something good. But really, what is all that going to do if you're still eating crap and junk food? I mean, we had, I worked in Chinatown. We had dumplings, four, five, six for a dollar. I was always eating, like, crap. You think you might be eating something good. But I tell you what, though, we were connected to a Whole Foods, and I learned a lot of good things. And I've even tried things that I never thought I would like, like hummus and quinoa. Oh, my God, I love me some quinoa. And I'm really just trying to learn how to do this for a better me, for a lifetime, not just for a diet. Because... I don't, you know, and I, let me just say this. Me saying I'm not getting weight loss surgery, any sleeves or bypass or laparoscopic lap band stuff, that's not me knocking you. If that's what your plan is, if that's what you want to do, you have to do what's best for you, honey, or sir. <laughs> you have to do what's best for you and what's going to work for you. But for me, I feel like I I have some friends that have done it, and you have to initially show that you have the willpower and the determination to do it. So you have to lose, like, a minimum of 50 pounds on your own. Now I'm 318, well, maybe 316 now, but if I'm going to lose 50 pounds on my own, let me just say I'm going to keep going because you can't just get a surgery and still do the same shit you, you were doing before. I watched that show on TLC, 600 Pound Life, um, let me tell you what I don't like about that. I, I'd say 99% of everybody that's gotten that surgery seemed to think that once they got the surgery, their cravings would go away for fried fatty foods and sodas and candy and junk. It don't go away. And, you know, I love to snack. So I got me some rice cakes. I got me some... Baby carrots, some celery, 
some hummus, some stuff that's going to make me feel like I'm doing a good job. I even bought some uh, the Quaker chewy granola bars. Like that. But what I used to do, I swear, and be real, be honest. If you are a big person, we don't just eat one and call it a day. You'd eat like three or four. If there's three varieties in it, you eat at least one of each. I literally eat one as my snack. And I'm noticing that at the beginning, I was having these hunger pains and I was constantly thinking about food and Oh, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm hungry. Was I really hungry? Or was I just so used to just eating? Whenever. The whole bag. The whole box. All the pasta. You don't have to eat all of that. Guys, Fill yourself I up. got cut off. I don't know how. Talking about my phone. I had no storage left. But I'm just going to continue where I stopped. Eat more vegetables. Fill up your plate with a lot more salad. You got to have the starch. You got to have your protein. But... People seem to forget that protein also comes from vegetables, not just huge pieces of steak. And you really shouldn't be eating too much meat. Um, like I said, I'm not a nutritionist. I don't know damn near everything. I'm still a big girl. I'm just starting this journey. This is week two, but I am seeing a nutritionist. And I'm just speaking of things that she's giving me advice on and hope, hoping one day that I can reach my goal and my first goal is to be 250 pounds my ultimate goal is to be 160 so that's a total of 158 pounds i need to lose um but yeah i definitely i'm struggling with a couple of things like my emotions i think there's a time when you get to a point where you feel like is this worth this can i do this but you have to constantly keep in your mind that you didn't get this way overnight, and you're not going to get better overnight. And my biggest hurdle is, you know, I have autoimmune deficiency diseases where I can't even walk that great. So my exercise is very limited. Just holding this phone makes my arms hurt, you know, and I walk as much as I can, but I do walk with a cane. And when I go places like the supermarket or shopping to the mall, I have to use my wheelchair because my legs get very weak but I hope you guys can appreciate my realness and follow me on this journey and anybody else who's going through this journey or I don't care if you have to lose five pounds or 500 pounds let's let's support each other let's do this with each other I'm all about support and love and building each other up instead of breaking each other down because so much in this world is crap so much in this world is hate so much in this world makes us feel so bad why not just do something that's gonna make us feel better and I'm doing this for me but I can't wait honestly until I see start seeing some some results and until then I'm just gonna keep pushing forward and doing what I have to do and let's let's see how it goes um, Good luck to everybody. You know, um, God bless. And whoever and whatever it is that you pray to, bless you in that nature and form. I love all people. And my freaking left eye is, like, smaller than the other eye. I don't know. But you're going to get my personality on this. And I'm not trying to hide it for anybody. I'm not trying to be anybody else but myself. And I'm going to con constantly... Be real, be serious, be funny and a goofball because I'm a goofball. And I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, so please subscribe. Please, please, please. I want to see that people are actually watching. And it just makes me feel good look, knowing people are watching. And if I can get subscribers and really do something good with this, and it'll just mean everything to me. And, but ultimately, I'm doing this to document my own process. And if people want to follow, that makes me even happier. Um, I don't know how to add pictures. If anybody knows how to do a bunch of stuff with these things, please help me. 
I want to show some of the foods in my refrigerator and things like that, but this thing doesn't flip around to the other way once you start recording in the front. So I don't know what to do, how to add all this cool stuff. I don't even want an icon. Anybody want to help me? Help me, please. Anyway, I'm signing off and got to go to the doctor. Maybe I'll post again later. I don't know how much I'm going to post, but I'll be back. Bye, guys. Love you all. Mwah.